Rafa, obviously a tough first match against Zverev and given the injuries you've had to overcome from the abdominal, are you confident you can complete more matches here? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was not a problem of abdominal at all. No, I, I didn't feel pain in the abdominal at all. So, no, just uh, Sasha well played and me bad played, honestly. No, no, no. We can find reasons or excuses, but <laughs> at the end of the day, what only really matters is I need to play much better in in two days uh, after tomorrow. That's that's the only thing. Um, yeah, we knew that gonna be tough that beginning because uh, the period of time since the injury to until today is very short. But we are here trying, and that's it. That's it. No, stay positive, stay competitive. Something that today I was not. Uh, that's the the thing that I am more disappointed because uh, knowing that I will not be uh, at my hundred percent in terms of feelings, in terms of movement, in terms of confidence on hitting the ball, I needed um, my best competitive spirit this afternoon, and I was not there. In, in that way, um, so that's um, that's the thing that I'm disappointed with. Rafa, at the end of the first set, you had a bit of a row with the umpire. You were expressing your unhappiness. Can you explain what that grievance was? No, it's fine. No, no, no problem at all. Conversations that uh, that happens in the in the match. Something that I really believe that uh, he was not doing the right way, in my personal opinion. I am not in the... I don't have the truth. <laughs> uh, it's just a personal opinion. And in my opinion, he did much better in the second set. That's all. Rafa, um, of course, you played against some outstanding servers during your career and succeeded many times against them. But how would you describe uh, the, the service, the service that uh, Sasha did today, in such a fast court like we have here in London. Yeah, he served huge, uh, very, very, very fast. Difficult to read, first, second. Um, no doubt about that. About how good he is and how how good he is able to serve. Uh, another thing is when you have uh, break in front, things are easier. So if I'm not able to resist the score and to hold the score for all, three all, five all, then the opponent is able to, to serve with much more confidence. No, it's not the same serving for all that knowing that if you have a mistake, uh, you can lose the set than if you have a mistake, you, only, uh, you are draw on the score. No? So that's the main thing. That's why I said before I am disappointed about my competitive spirit because I was not able to bring the game to to that um, to that moment that I needed because um, I knew that I will not be playing at my 100% today. But I, honestly, I, I needed to 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 be close on the score uh, to have um, my chances because I have been winning a lot. I think it's the first match that I lose. Uh, well, I, after Rom Roland Garros, I lost in. Huh? In Wimbledon, but I didn't lose no one more, no one more match. No, so uh, if I am able to to hold the score equal, I am with confidence. I know I have been doing a lot of things well, but especially in the surface, if you make mistakes, uh, then it's impossible. Half of us are unable to get in here for the start. Sorry, um, can you repeat that? I was saying many of us were late because of the organisation here. The, um, can you tell us how your physical condition was tonight? Good. No complaint about the physical condition. No pain in the abdominal. That's a um, <laughs> totally positive thing, honestly. <laughs> and, uh, and that's all. Happy the way that uh, the abdominal hold. And hopefully I can continue like this because it's true that I was not able to 
to create a lot of um, practice and a lot of effort on the on that part of the body since the last Saturday. Uh, so it's a positive thing that I hold the whole match today. Hopefully, I can keep going and hopefully I can practice a little bit more tomorrow. We needed to. We had to do the things uh, step by step, step by step, being very, you know, in very ca big uh, precaution, you know, in all the in all the movements that we have been doing since last Saturday, and um, and today I'm fine. So <laughs> the the physical issue was not uh, an excuse at all. The only excuse is I was not good enough tonight. Rafa, you, you obviously haven't been able to play many matches since the US Open. How big of a problem is that lack of, of match fitness and match experience when you come into a tournament like this when you're facing a top player from day one and in, in every match? Well, I had my problems after the US Open. No, no, I, I couldn't uh, make the, the full calendar. But it's, it's something that is not a, have not been a problem not playing match honestly, in the last uh, few years, because when I came back on the competition after um, uh, a break, I always have been playing well, and in Paris, was I was playing great in Paris. But it's true that um, have been, after the US Open, have been some on and off, in terms of my hand problems, uh, had to stop for a couple of weeks, uh, then the abdominal, so I was not able to, to hold the... the, the the regular practices the way that I would like it, but in in some way I did it uh, enough well to play much better than what I did tonight. Now it's a bad day today, and <laughs> the opponent played well. That's it. Uh, we can think and we can find reasons or can find excuses, but the only the only excuse is, as I said before, no, he was much better than me tonight, and I was not enough good. Rafa, obviously it's different this year because the Davis Cup is next week and because of the format, there are more matches in that than there would normally be in a final. So do you think you can really play potentially up to seven matches over the next two weeks? Seven singles matches and maybe some doubles as well. So two... I don't know. I, don't know. I, I can't, I can't uh, give you a, a clear answer. Uh, I hope. That's, uh, that's the only answer that I can give you. Hopefully, yes. If not, so we accept it. But my goal and my, my determination is to make that happen. Um. Rafa, you've qualified for um, for this tournament so many years, um, but it sometimes seems to have come at the wrong wrong time of the season for you. Is there any um, is there any reason do you think you've suffered so much from injuries right at the end of the season, or or do you put it down to bad luck? Or I just wondered if there's any overall reason. It's not bad luck. No, no, no. It's not. Um, we cannot think, even if it's not good luck when we achieve important things. It's not bad luck when you do when you do a negative things. It's part of my career too. Uh, not today. Uh, in the past, make much more sense because it's true that I have been playing long and tough seasons, playing a lot of matches and different style of, of game. So when I when I have been playing the last matches of the season, uh, my body was tough to hold. No, but this year I have been playing 11 events, not not too many. No, just trying to make the the things the the right way to to finish the the season in the uh, in the health way <laughs> healthiest way possible and in this time in this case personally this case I think was bad luck in terms of uh, the abdominal injury because it's an injury that is not like my knees are uh, suffering and I am pushing no it was a, a bad movement at one point that. I didn't feel nothing before, so it's not bad luck probably in the past. This time about the abdominal thing was a 
bad movement. I don't know, you, we can call it bad luck. Uh, bad preparation, <laughs> I don't think, was that. Uh, but you, you, can, you can think about uh, reasons, but honestly, I am not the kind of person that uh, I am complaining or giving me a hard time why this is happening or why this is not happening. That's life. Thing happens, you need to accept. Sometimes um, the things that are happening are very positive, like most of the time with me, sometimes are negative. And we need to, to accept both things being and to staying calm in general terms. So that's what I probably did all my career. Last question. <coughs> okay. Yes? Uh, well, tonight you were playing very short many times. I don't know why, because no, it's not used, you're not used to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd like to know, for many people, people to get uh, married is a very important and distracted thing. Mm -hmm. Before the marriage, during the marriage, after the marriage. Mm -hmm. Uh, your concentration on tennis life has been a bit different, even if you were going out with the same Honestly, are you asking me this? Yeah. Is it a serious question or is it a joke? Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I surprise. It's a big surprise for me. You ask me this after being with the same girl for 15 years and having a very stable and normal life. Doesn't matter if you put a ring on your finger or not. In my in my personal way, I am a very normal guy. Maybe for you was it the complete? How many years you have been with your? Well, I have 30 years this year, but when and I before the be, years, after ah maybe you were not sure. That's why. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we move to Spanish because that's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>